life. A happy, healthy life is a universal goal, but getting there clearly can be a challenge sometimes. So it's good that Indie Moms blog contributor Andy Bookmeyer is here. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Got to give her extra credit. She stood out in the snow waiting to be here, and <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too bad. Changing no. while you were out there? Yeah, a little more snow than usual, but yeah, we'll get it's to, okay. We'll get to what I think you call spring cleaning and go down the list in a second. But in talking about this topic, you make the point that this, this has to be a choice to choose happiness. Absolutely. And I write about self-care quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And I do believe we need to be proponents for ourselves and take care of ourselves and know that it's okay to nourish our mind and body and soul and not feel guilty about it. And I feel like sometimes people are so stuck in that go, go, go mentality right. of life that they feel it's, it's, they should be guilty for taking time for themselves when they shouldn't. It's not saying me first. It's saying me too right. because we matter and we're honestly better versions of ourselves when we get uh, more rest, when we feel better and when people are treating us better and, and we're taking time for ourselves. It is worth probably saying out loud some of the things that you see people neglecting for themselves so they'll look at it and go, oh, okay, this thing. You start with toxic people. Yeah, and in this blog I was talking about things to try to get rid of to make our life more manageable, to be happier and healthier. So, and I want to expand it from toxic people to also toxic things. Sure. But anything or anybody who's not going to support us and celebrate us and enhance us and make us feel better about ourselves and, and, and make us feel like, gosh, we're giving time and attention and energy to things that matter. Um, we don't, we shouldn't have time for that in our lives. And, and sometimes we're limited because it's, it's coworkers or it's people that, you know, we, we have to be around them, but maybe limiting our contact. Social media. Sometimes sure. people don't feel good after being on social media or reading certain Instagram accounts or Facebook pages. So just being cog like cognizant of what what is going to root us on or, or, or make us thrive rather than set us back or make us feel bad about ourselves because life is too short and I blog about that quite a bit and that we have to choose happiness and we have to offer kindness and, and that's going to make our life a little bit more substantial, a little bit more meaningful I think. Uh, surroundings, um, <laughs> moment of honesty here, I know things are spiraling for me when my closet gets all cluttered. You say that's that's actually a pretty good signal and a good thing to start with. Yes, decluttering your house or your apartment, wherever you live, is such a great way to not only free up that physical space, but that mental real estate, like that anxiety and stress that you can encounter sometimes when you see all the things, right? So seasonal items. And I'll go around Christmas time, it was like, oh my gosh, how many totes of Christmas stuff do I have? And, right. and my son has an ungodly amount of toys. That it's like every week I'm going to Goodwill dropping off bags. So decluttering cluttering can help us in a way regain control of that physical space and that mental real estate. Guilt goes along with that too, doesn't it? Absolutely. And that's another thing in my blog is, you know, we've all done things at times that we regret. It, we're human. We make mistakes. I have a client who said she ate an entire veggie lover's pizza while binge watching Netflix. And for days she stressed about that. And I said, we have to let that go. And in my blog, I talk about, we do have to acknowledge, okay, maybe we did something we're not proud of. Can we change it? No, but here's what we can do. We can, in the future, try to avoid those mistakes. We can make better decisions, whether it's in our relationships, whether it's in our workplace. We can let it go, learn from it, and smile, because you can't change it, so why worry about it? And celebrate small victories. It was a veggie lover's pizza, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Something in there. Uh, listen, it was a great blog post. There's a lot more of these uh, ideas in there. We appreciate you sharing with them, uh, some, of us, uh, some of them with us here on Daybreak, and thanks again for going through the snow for us. Oh, thank 